My name is Terry. I'm with my partner Ash, mum Tracy, dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan. We are leaving our hometown of Middlesbrough for a new life in France. To restore this beautiful 18th century castle. From living in caravans during winter, to tackling years of neglect, keeping her dry, discovering more about its past, and bringing it back to its former glory. Not forgetting Louis, Sasha, and Patrick. This is Chateau de La Lasalle. So while Tony's in the cottage and um, getting the roof down, getting that prep for the roof is coming, um, I really want to get finished the job that started in the summer, which was getting the trees clear and the brambles clear of this area of the fantastic space the reason I want to do it now is because the, the weather when it gets hot it gets really hot in this walled garden it's if it's 20 degrees it'll be 25 to 30 in the garden because there's no breeze and it's just a proper little sun trap so it's best to get it done now early in spring um, get everything down get everything ready and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show some of the magnificent views from what's going to be our camping field next door to this
Meanwhile, back at the cottage, Tony is working on the ceiling. So I've got the third section of ceiling pulled down now here in the, uh, the kitchen of the cottage. So all I need to do is uh, move the scaffold and I can get over into the far corner and, uh, and get it all finished. As always, it's taken a little bit longer than I'd hoped. Um, pulling all the little nails out or banging them in that's been holding the old lats on is an absolute nightmare. Okay, so that's the um, last of the, the ceiling down. Um, unfortunately, some of the original flooring upstairs is in pretty poor condition. I was hoping I was going to be able to uh, to just put some boarding on top of that. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, to put boards on on everything really. Um, some bits in pretty poor condition. I wouldn't want to really risk leaving it up there. So um, next step is to uh, is to get some of that down. Uh, I'll just work work in small areas and uh, and see how we get on. Uh, but uh, before I start doing any of that, I need to get some boards upstairs, just temporary, to make sure that uh, that nobody's going to uh, going to fall through while we're doing anything up there. So this is the, the first uh, area of, of floor that we were looking at from downstairs, um, the one next to the original ladder opening. Um, as you can see, the beams up here are in, uh, in, in quite poor condition. Um, and certainly three of these four uh, will have to come out uh, and be replaced. Um, we were going to do some work in this area anyway, so it's not a it's not a big problem. Um, spans aren't that big, so so sourcing and, and replacing the, the beams isn't going to be uh, too much of an issue. Um, and then this will be nice and safe again. One thing that I will do though is I'll expose another couple of beams uh, further along 
just to make sure that there's there's been no other problems that uh, I can't see from downstairs. It looks okay, but uh, I will I will check just to be on the safe side. So we've spent uh, a little time clearing out um, all of the shutters that were in here. We just get started in here. We put them with the rest in the garage till we get round to uh, to starting to look at those. Um, the idea was that we can try try this part of the staircase in just to make sure that the sizes we were given and the sizes I've, men I've measured were actually right. Um, as you can see they're a pretty good fit. Um, can't get them into place properly until I get the, the roof down um, and make a space in the ceiling for them to go through. So um, this is a, a, a good test to show what they're going to look like. Um, I sent a photo to Tracy, she's happy. Um, so I've got more space in the kitchen now than, than we originally planned and uh, we finally decided what we're going to do with this, this little middle lobby, which is great. So um, next job is to, is to move them into the, into the um, salon um, and then we can get them rubbed down back to, back to natural, ready to put up uh, and to finish. So we've moved the stairs out of this lobby area um, and what we need to do is, is actually take a couple of these floor uh, ceiling beams out so that we've got an opening for the, for the stair case to go up through um, and it looks like we, we only need to, to actually take two of the beams out and then we'll do some repairs to, uh, to replace the ceiling uh, once we've got them fitted. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a couple of couple of uh, holes up from here to make sure that, um, that I'm working in the right area and then I'll knock the, uh, the rest of the material through from above. Um, so hopefully it won't take long just to put a, a couple of markers in to see where I'm starting. In the, in the cottage, uh, this is above the space where the stairs are going to come up um, and you can see the three pilot holes I've drilled um, and what I'm going to do now is use those as markers, uh, come back a little bit, expose the wall so I can see the ends of the beams and, uh, and then start opening up this, this space. Okay, so I've uh, I've got this this area of floor 
Um, all broken away now, ready for putting the stairs in. Um, this fourth beam along that, uh, that I was worried about has actually got uh, quite a lot of damage and, and decay uh, at one end. So it certainly, uh, it certainly needs taking out and replacing. Um, my current plan is to just use one of the one of the uh, first two beams, um, and uh, and what what I need to do then is uh, is when I get the stairs up in place, I'll put uh, a smaller frame in there to uh, to carry the the floor up here. So. Um, Hard work, very dusty, thirsty work. Um, all I need to do now is get some boards down so that it's safe for uh, for people walking about because uh, we need to get on with uh, with the work getting these windows in now. So this morning we're going to crack on with the first coat of woodworm treatment uh, along in this end of the uh, the chateau loft. Um, so all I need to do now, I've got all the gear up here, all I need to do is get the PPE on and um, get the spray primed and crack on. So that's the, the final section of the Chateau loft space, um, given its first coat of, of woodworm treatment. So that's uh, all of the top floors being done now. Um, we just have to carry on with the cleaning downstairs and then we can, um, we can start applying the first coat down there as well. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Lord gone on, haven't they? Absolutely. Busy, brilliant. busy couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been uh, really manic. Um, all good though. Yeah. All good. Absolutely brilliant. Seeing, seeing the the work starting on the cottage is just it, it just gives you that bit of momentum, doesn't yeah. it? It gives us that boost every day just to yeah, to, to just, want to get up and get on with it. Really. It's a bit worrying looking at the size of the hole on the roof, but. Uh, but at least uh, it's it's a great step. Um, we've fantastic. Got, we've got no rain forecast for for a few days anyway. No timing's so worked out yeah, really absolutely well. Absolutely perfect, and we're just getting into the nice weather. We've had a couple of days of nice weather, uh, and the trucks are enjoying it as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. We've got uh, the, obviously the the extra little bits and pieces we pour in from a few climbing frames and uh, those nest boxes, and um, and the good news is uh, eggs every day, isn't it? Eggs Excellent every day. news. Yeah, it's. Uh, Today, uh, today, yesterday we had four, um, so all of the big ones are laying, um, which is great. They're uh, they're easing the way, I would say, but um, 
in the next uh, few weeks. I think we'll be we'll be inundated with, with them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Omelets for breakfast every day. Uh, and you'll see that you've seen the walled garden, the difference that's made. The fact that you can see the the chateau from the camping field down there now just gives it that whole different. Yeah, uh, opening that view up is yeah. tremendous. I mean, you realise just what a fantastic vista that but is. When when people come to stay, you will feel like the part of the chateau one was just because of yeah. how close it is to the chateau. We knew it was there, you just couldn't see it because of the, yeah. the, the trees and the yeah, walled I mean, garden, it was so overgrown. The view up from the stairs, obviously you could always see that, so you can you could you could imagine how it was going to look. Yeah, but, we, but now that you can actually see it right across the field, it, it's a fantastic. Absolutely uh, brilliant. So we're, we're really happy with with everything that we've done the last couple of weeks. It's, yeah. it, it hasn't half moved at pace, and it's just I think it's just when you've got other people coming in and other work going on around. Yeah, you get that sort of little boost, a little injection of uh, of new vigor. Yeah. Um, I mean, just getting all of the all of the woodworm treatment spraying yep. finished off up on the top floor. Yeah. Um, well, I, and, I, I wasn't and, going in with the spiders. You did that one. But I yeah, the well, it was only the, it was only the, it was the awkward thing really. Yeah. I think you were just saving your back to be honest, because yeah. it's quite uh, tricky. Yep. Yeah. But well. but that's all finished now. So I'll move on down to the middle floor, and um, and in reality, there's, it's only the floors we can do down there, and and yeah, um, absolutely, and, and whatever's exposed. So it's it's really we've got the back broken of. Uh, of the treatment in there it's, it's starting and, and every, the, the top floor is the only one that's completely exposed in it really yeah, so yeah that's the only it's one it's all wood the... and it's we've seen the difference in moving up just all the little beet bugs and oh, creatures there was a lot of things up there yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. so no great news great great progress being made we hope you can see it and have enjoyed it all and um, if you again want to like comment um we love hearing from you guys. We love hearing your ideas. Um, we, we've listened to you with the chickens and, and, and what your your ideas were with that as well. And, and the chickens are loving it. So thank you for that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Um, our Instagram and Facebook pages will be below. So yeah, thank you guys. And we'll see you soon. We'll keep cracking on.